What's up everybody, Rocker and Enid here, and welcome back to episode Minecraft Adventures. Today we're starting on episode 5 of Minecraft Story Mode. This is gonna be awesome. So bear with me, because it's gonna be a wild ride. What? No. Alright. Let's do this. She died. Oh. How do you know? That is one seriously cool temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Mm. Well, Jesse? Order of the Stone, it's time to get some glory. For, for glory! glory. for treasure. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place.
Hi, Petra. Who's Petra? <laughs> Kidding. What do you think Ivor knew about this place? Eh, who knows? That guy's read like a million books and traveled all over the world. You probably start to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. Thoughts on this place? I think I'd rather be in a straight fight than doing all this switch pulling stuff. But I'm glad Ivor's intel about this place was good. So, how are you feeling lately? Memory's all back, as far as I can tell. Now I'm just trying to get used to having teammates and people who worry about me. That's pretty new for me. It's nice, though. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to solve this. This one points here. The other one should be over here somewhere. ago. I would never have thought I would like all this adventuring and treasure hunting stuff. But this has actually been a really good time. And I've been getting lots of great stuff to build with. So what kind of treasure do you hope we find in here? Well, I've been working on a build that could use another couple dispensers. But some cocoa beans would be cool too. Mm. Any ideas for how to fix this? Well, these channels of lava are blocked in strategic locations by those sticky pistons. Unblock them, and I'm guessing something cool will happen. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Never doubted you for a minute. Mm. It's good to have friends. Oh, come on! Hey, Axel. What you need, buddy? So, what kind of loot you think we're gonna find in here? Oh, man, well, I wanna make a room with an emerald floor, right? Well, who doesn't? I'm like four emeralds away, so getting some emeralds would be pretty sweet. Man, we have the best adventures, don't we? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I was worried I wouldn't be cool enough, or smart enough, or whatever enough to be in the Order of the Stone. Thanks for always believing in me, buddy. You know it. Axel, what do you think of the situation? Um, I don't know about the situation. I kind of do more blowing stuff up. So, if you need someone to do stuff like that, I'm totally your guy. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on this. Sounds good, dude. 
think Jesse was having flashbacks every time he talks to someone. Come on! Keep trying to solve this. That was weird, but okay. Oh, I think I understand it now. Well, then you go back to here. It looks like you made a three. Okay, and then you go over here, and there's like four. See, I've always, I've always known there's something suspicious about this. if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds oh. me of when we first found the Order's Temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea what we were getting into. Hilarious. And to think, that was just the beginning. Yeah, I mean, that was before we'd fought weirder storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the Order. So crazy. Bingo! All right, let's see what we've got. Super jealous of you? It's just, I really love cake. Hey, if you want it, it's all you. Oh man, oh man, oh man, thank you. Huh, 
A pumpkin, not bad. I suppose that could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's... Whoa. Screw the cake and pumpkin. That is a treasure. What did you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. That glow, is it some sort of enchantment? I don't know. I've seen people put an unbreaking enchantment on flint and steel before, but that's not unbreaking. You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. I have definitely never seen flint and steel do that before. Uh-oh. Looks like some monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? If you ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Uh, Warrior whip, go! Come on, Jesse. Make it good. Just like you practiced. <laughs> you guys, that was amazing! Okay, okay. It wasn't bad. Just like we ditched him. 
Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Wow, you guys are terrible at naming. That's a dumb name. <laughs> Says the heroes that just called their group the New Order of the Stone. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Mm, no. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Petra, just ignore it. They don't know what they're talking about. Lucas is our friend, Jesse. No one talks about our friends like that. You hmm. probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, come on. That's not fair, Aiden. We're adventuring just like anyone else. <laughs> well, that's, that's just what I expect from someone as small-minded as you, Jesse. Oh, snap. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. You, <gasps> you have to go through me first. Some hero you are, Jesse. Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze Rods! Ooh, I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Wow, us being the new Order of the Stone is really getting to that guy. He's gone crazy. We should be careful. He seems different, scarier. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you going to do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. <laughs> Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. Yeah, not our fault we're so awesome. I guess so. Thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> it's not that good. Yep! New Order of the Stone is back in town! <laughs> that wasn't a happy to see a screen. Wow, that's new. 
it somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. While still doing the whole barfing lava thing. Yeesh. I don't talk about eyesores. That thing's hideous. Yeah, if beauty's in the eyes of the beholder, that's one beholder with serious eye problems. in comparison to my majestic tower. I knew it. Ivor? <sighs> of course. Oh, Jesse, you're back. Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard. And your face is an ugly hazard. Causing trouble again? Nothing. Just a little spirited debate with the local community. Brain function is proving difficult for them. You need to remove this now. Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! What about just moving it someplace else? I'm sure... Move it? Way more lava is going to spill out if we do that. Well... We have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? Sorry, Ivor, but your house is way too much of a hazard to the community. Tear it down, everyone. Good call. Slippery slope, Jesse. Today the lava house. Tomorrow, who knows what kind of rules you'll be imposing. Don't be a sore loser, Ivor. Fat. Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you? Ivor, we found something in that temple you told us about. What? You did? <laughs> yes. Great to see you again. Let's do lunch. I'll bring the carrots. There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Jesus, Ivor. Okay, that's my well, new we're gonna tear this down. Ivor, it's crazy. We better start getting together. Scoop up crazy. all the lava. You got any iron? Oh, man, no. I'm all out. <sighs> okay. We better go mine some more. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we give this majestic house the funeral it deserves. Sounds good. I'll see you guys soon. Later, guys. Come on, let's go find Ivor. Wow, this place is really shaping up. stuff. Weather storm left a big mess out there. Well, we were there when it all started. It's only right we help clean it up. Jesse, listen. I'm not going to beat around the bush here. The last time we saw each other with the ocelots and the wither storm and everything, I'm not happy about how things went down and, well, I want to patch things up. I'm tired of us not talking to each other, so I'm sorry. We both made mistakes, Lucas. It wasn't just you. Yeah, it's a relief to hear you say that. It's so cool you came back. It's, uh, <laughs> feels good to be back. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? I haven't thought about him since it happened. It's easier that way. 
Gotcha. Well, if that's working, then that's good. <sighs> okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Oh, I hate that guy. Uh-huh, yeah, we saw him too. The Order of the Stone and the Blaze Rods are just as friendly as ever. That's an understatement. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot and the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Yeah, when we saw him, he kind of freaked me out. You know, making crazy threats, knocking his own gang around. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yes! Yes! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest thing okay, of Okay, that's the new meme. Oh my I god. I can't believe you're actually... That you're actually holding this. I mean, it's got some sort of enchantment on it, but it's just a flint and steel, right? Jesse, that's not just some sort of enchantment. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. So, what's the flint and steel do then? Uh, not 100% sure, actually. But I suspect that it's related to the exciting part. You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource. What a beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. The Ever... What now? The Eversource! Are you, uh, gonna actually explain it any more than that? The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place! Wow! Old builders? You learn something new every day. Okay, so this flint and steel might have this old builder enchantment, but how do you know that's where this Eversource thing is? I've traveled near and far, Jesse, and that temple, that flint and steel, is the only firm proof that I've ever seen of the old builders. That does seem like a pretty good bet. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take nope. off. You're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. <laughs> oh my god. It's like every episode, Ivor gets more crazy. So exciting. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean... It's nice that he's so excited, but oh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Oh, come on. He's super funny and he makes me laugh. <laughs> I guess. Who died? These trees are enormous. I love it so much. He just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Hey, let's not get all enamored with the architecture now. You've got a treasure to find. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, blonde guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not <laughs> sure that's possible. What? She means that you just seem to be super excited, Ivor. I guess I can see this thing again. Look at Ivor! Oh my god, it's so funny. You look excited, Ivor. Excited. I'm ecstatic. Thrilled! Overjoyed! The Eversource could finally be within my grasp! Okay, now he's scared. Once, uh, once we find it, that is. 
Ivor, are you okay? Do you need help? channels work anymore. There's gotta be another way. Pretty cool temple, right? Yeah, it's amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you, Jesse, I'm pretty excited to be along for the ride on this one. Barely got out of there last night. Doesn't look like it's opening up again anytime soon. That's all right. I had enough of the spiders and lava and everything that had to offer already. I can't believe we missed some sort of secret area here last night. Uh, we were kind of fighting, oh, a ton of monsters. It's not surprising that we didn't hit every single nook and cranny. Oh, up here. Well, that wasn't there last night. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you. Uh, yeah. What he said. Ivor, you're starting to creep me out. Think this Eversource thing is up here? say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential, so they hid it away in a place where... Well, that seems bad. promising. And ha! It ne Jesse! What do you see? <gasps> Some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. Spectacular. But where does it lead? I don't know. This portal... It's not like anything I've ever seen. Here goes nothing. Oh, come on. Oh, thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. You're gonna regret that, Aiden. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Shut up, Gil! Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. Surprisingly heavy. 
I am uh, the proportionate weight for my height. Thank you very much. There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you. Thank you. There is nothing but sky down there. It's all just empty sky. I've traveled all over our world, to nearly every corner. And there has always been land or water beneath me. You could just fall forever. And ever. And ever. See that? What? So very strange. Wow. Looks like some kind of city. That's incredible. That's it. That's where it must be. The Eversource. A city in the clouds. It almost it's sounds cloud impossible. City. I just don't know how we're going to reach it. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a problem. Can't we just, like, build our way over? Uh, how? Oh, please! You've heard of a bridge, haven't you? I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. Yes. Very astute, Lucas. I don't be such a worry wart, Lucas. I got this. I think this island is more than large enough for our needs. Yeah, if we dig up this entire island, we should have enough to get us over there. trying to keep away from the edge. It's all edge. Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make our... Well, that concludes this, today's episode. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Arkham 8, signing off. We'll see you later.